Welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Mike. And today I am going on a cruise out of Jacksonville. I am going on the Carnival Elation. Carnival ran a great deal last year I took advantage of. It was 200 bucks for the room. Um, and they gave me $200 onboard credit. So basically I got the room for free. I paid uh, taxes and fees, which I think is about 130 bucks. Uh, and I'm going to Nassau or Nassau, however you say it. Um, their private island in the Caribbean or the Bahamas, which I think is, I want to say it's Coco Cay, but I think it's Half Moon Cay. Or maybe I got that all mixed up between them all. All right, so I'm here and my boarding group is from 11 to 11.30 and so it is 11.06 and I just parked. Uh, this Jacksonville is a lot smaller uh, terminal or port, if you will. Um, it's a temporary port is what I read online. So everything's a lot closer, a lot smaller. The parking is basically right by the ship. If you are gonna sail out of Jacksonville, I'd recommend going on and just prepaying uh, Jack's ports. It's $85 for a standard vehicle uh, for the five day, if you're going on Carnival Elation. I think it's $17 a day. But now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and get in line so I can get on the ship and enjoy those uh, great Guy Fieri burgers. And I haven't said it yet, but go ahead and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, because I have another cruise coming up next week. And I also live in Orlando now, so I go to all the theme parks. So let's go ahead and get on the ship. So this is always my favorite part. It's when you get on. And this is my favorite bar, always. But now let's go to the muster station. All right, so I'm on uh, muster station B. Whenever you get on a ship, if you've never been on one before, you always have to go to the muster station and check in, and then they'll go over the safety procedures and then how to inflate a, uh, a flotation device and all that. So once you knock that out, you're good to go have fun and go eat, go enjoy the pool, go get a beer, whatever you want. You're good. All right. Take a seat, sir. Okay. Thank you. So this one's a little bit more in depth than I've usually done. Normally they just go and scan our things, ask if we've ever seen it before, and then they let us go. This one we actually have to sit and wait. The straps put around your waist and buckle in front. Make sure the loose straps, you secure, secure it at the back. All right, so that was the muster station, muster station B. Like I said, it's pretty quick. Uh, normally they just go and they'll, uh, you know, check you in, ask if you want to watch it or if you've seen it before and you say yes and then you can leave. This guy actually sat down, made us all sit down and wave and showed us how to don the life jacket, which isn't bad. But now we're kind of free reign. Uh, if you've never been on a cruise before, normally they open it on Carnival. You get your stateroom at 1.30. So it is now like 11.40. So I'm probably gonna go eat the Guy Fieri burger, probably find a bar to, have a beer at um the sell away party for this one is 2 30. so i'm gonna definitely go up there and watch that and record that but in case you're joining us late this is day one of my five-day carnival cruise to the bahamas out of jacksonville on carnival elation and yeah that's kind of it right now i got an early book in i got in 11 so that was good i didn't really have to wait as soon as I got in, I got to go on the ship. I couldn't record, they told me, so I didn't record. You know, it's just like an airport, but 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, either find a bar or go get something to eat. So let's see what I come up on first. So, oh man, it's dark. So I ended up at the casino bar. I haven't been up yet to get my guy Fieri up. It's kind of hot. Uh, just kind of hanging out here. It's now 12.40 and we'll get our rooms at 1.30. So probably sit here and enjoy this beer before I go up and get something to eat. I'm gonna head to my room and hang out till the, the party or go walk around and explore a little bit. But that's kind of what's going on right now. Seems like a nice bar, nice and big. And looks like they got a band that plays at night. I enjoy the live music on these ships, so I look forward to that. And uh, just hanging out, drinking a beer. They got the Caribbean wheat, the Thirsty Frog, which is uh, Carnival's brand. All right, so on Carnival ships, deck 10 is where all the fun stuff is. The pools, or it's called the Lido deck on this one. Or all of them actually, but deck 10 is usually where the pools are, the food is, and all that good stuff. So that's where I'm walking to. So this is why I cruise for the Guy Fieri burger. Makes it all worth it. And I got a good view too, so I love it. All right, so now let's go to our room and let's check it out. Okay, so I got a upper and a lower. It's just me in here, so they only got the lower out, but there is a bunk bed up here and that's what it would look like. And then here is your little uh, computer area where you want to work. And then you have a safe, of course, you have a couple towels to take to the beach. And then you have a couple closets. You can hang stuff up, fold stuff. And of course, I've already hung up the Panthers jersey. There's going to be a uh, football game this week while I'm here. So I went ahead and hung it up. So this obviously isn't the first time I've been in here. But just give me an idea of what it looks like. And then here's the bathroom. There's me. Hey, how's it going? And there's the shower. This is an interior room though too, so it's it's obviously a little smaller than if you get like the suites and whatnot, but with it just being me, I'll take it. But that is my room. Um, once again, it's an interior room. It is R64, so it's actually in the center of the ship. I had a, man, that's so bright. I had trouble finding it and I had to go ask somebody for help and they said, they told me it was in the center. I guess all the center ones have the up down, which is cool. Um, like I said, I like it. I thought it'd be big enough for me to do karate in here, which let's see. <clears throat> yep. It's big enough for karate, <laughs> but so that is the room. Once again, it's, this is the carnival elation. It's room R64. If you want the specific one, um, but now I'm gonna go, it's still the first day. So I'm gonna go hang out and uh, see what else I can do. Um, the sail away party is at three 45 is what I was told. So I'll probably go up there about three o'clock, get a seat along the deck and just wait. So, Let's go hang out some more. All right, 
So right now I'm just waiting for the Carnival Sail Away Party. It should be starting in about 15 minutes, so just kind of hanging out, wanting to make sure I got a good spot, and so just enjoying the view. Support everybody! Are you ready to have a good time in the video? Guess what, guess what? I've got a very important team to introduce to you. Do you want to meet them? All right, we're going to meet them up in the top down right here. It's a different team. They're going to have lots of fun with you all cruise along. We're going to bring them on right now. And when they come in, I want to hear you make some noise for you. It's a different team. Come on, give it up for you. It's a different team. So we just did the sail away party. 
uh, which means we're obviously sailing away, we're moving. Today and tomorrow is gonna be fun days at sea, and then we're not gonna be at Nassau until, Nassau, we're not gonna port until Wednesday, and that's when I got my uh, seas and um, my excursion, whatever it is. I'm doing, I'm going under the, in a submersible, and then I'm gonna go tour the city. And then Thursday, we're gonna go to their private island. I wanna say it's Castaway K, that's Disney. Half Moon K, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure exactly. And then Friday, we'll be sailing back. Another fun day at sea. And so right now, I'm gonna go in there, go to the atrium bar, see if they have a seat there, maybe get a beer, and then go and see what's going on in the uh, auditorium, or not the auditorium, but the theater, see if they have any shows going on. But. So if you've ever been on a cruise, they have like jewelry stores. Uh, behind me is an Oakley, or behind the camera is an Oakley, uh, like a fun shop where they got clothes and bags and all that stuff. Um, they're open certain hours. They usually have specials. Um, yeah, I don't know what time they eat. they're open right now. It looks like 5.30 is when they open, and then tomorrow will be 9 o'clock, fun day to see. All right, what's going on, everybody? And so... I just ate dinner. I didn't think about it, but I should have took you guys up there to show you what we were having because the food on the ships, it's really good. Like, I love eating on the carnival ships, and I probably end up eating like three or four times a day. Matter of fact, I will probably end up going back up there because the sandwich bar is open till 11, and then the pizza is open until 4 in the morning, I believe. So there's always you can always get food on a ship. Um, you know, the pizza's open till 4, and then breakfast starts at 6, so there's not very long where there's not an option for food. But, what I got going on this evening, we got some acoustic jams uh, at the atrium lobby, the atrium bar. But, I am going to actually go up and do karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke always seems to be a big hit here, so I'm going to go up there to that bar and watch karaoke. <laughs> and then, you know, there's a, there's a welcome aboard show that I'm gonna go to at 9.30. They're, they're doing music all over the ship. Um, I think there's like three different uh, stages at three different bars. So they got variety music, they got, that's the violins earlier. I think you'll see it in the video before this. And then, um, what do they call it, power hour? Or variety music and, oh, variety music with music power. And then at 10.30 there's an air, air there's an air guitar contest that I do not want to miss. So I will definitely be doing that, and that will probably finish out my night. But right now, let's go ahead and uh, get to the karaoke bar. So one thing, if you've never sailed before, I guess I do a lot of this. Assuming people that are watching this have probably never sailed before. But you always want to take your, uh, I think they call it the sign and sail, basically your ID badge. It gets you in your room, and then... When you get drinks, you just scan it in and then sign the receipt. So this is the key to everything on the ship. And then it also, it shows what level you are. So I'm still a red. I think the first time you sail, you're a blue. That's kind of distracting. All right, so the first time you sail, you're a blue. And then you're a red up until 24 nights. And then once you hit night 25 on a carnival ship, then you become a gold status member, which there's a few more perks, but it's not really worth it until you hit, I believe it's platinum or diamond, or it, it, it's one of those. Whatever you get at 75 nights, that's when it starts to become worth it because then you can start getting early boarding and stuff like that. So I am still red, but by my cruise in January, after my cruise in January, I will be gold. So I'm looking forward to that. But all right, now we're going to go. So the place wasn't open yet. Uh, I got there a little early, about 8.15. So I went, got a beer. Once again, my favorite, the Thirsty Frog Caribbean beer. And now I'm just waiting for it to open, just kind of hanging out right outside the bar. I see they're letting people in now, so. Uh, it should be fun, like I said, it's always a uh, fun time. 
Nobody's shy on the cruise ship. Everybody gets up and sings whether they can sing or not, but the majority of them can do a pretty good job, so looks like we're going in, so I'm going to have to go in there and get a seat. I will say the one thing about being on a cruise by myself is I don't really want to take up any good seats or, you know, be the center. Sorry, trying to get comfortable. And so, like, I'm trying to be considerate because I'm not going to take a whole table up by myself. And in the past, you know, we always got the unlimited drinking plan, so it was easy to meet people. This time I'm trying to be conservative and not, I didn't get the unlimited drinking plan because I don't want to be hung over in the morning. Um, you know, I'm here to, I guess, enjoy the cruise and not get hammered. Plus, I don't have any way to watch my back right now. So I'm just kind of, it's different trying to meet people when you're not drinking, I found. <laughs> Karaoke is always a fun time. It's always a crowded bar, so what can I got to see? So I'm excited. Hopefully, there's some good singers. All right, so I missed the show. I ended up meeting somebody on the ship, uh, Mitch and Beth, and we ended up talking during karaoke. And so I didn't make it to the show, but I am going to go head out and see the air guitar contest. I'm excited about that to see what that all entails. And so uh, let's go down there to the atrium bar and uh, check that out. Give you a song and you're working the crowd. So imagine that you're like Taylor Swift right now, yeah? like the most popular pop star. Oh, all right, no worries. I have a specific song for it that you're gonna enjoy and love. So that ends my night. Uh, they didn't do the air guitar. Basically what they did is uh, did some lip sync battles, trying to get the crowd pumped up, and then they're going up to another bar. And I'm actually pretty tired because I got up early. Uh, Jacksonville's about a three hour drive away from where I live now in Orlando. So I'm just gonna head to bed for the night, and then tomorrow's another day. And uh, just wanna say, Thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. As I was saying, uh, I'm back in my room. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like this video if you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And today's only day one, so I got five more days to go, or four more days to go. And so let's see what we can get into tomorrow. And you guys all have a good night, and I will talk to you all later. <laughs> Bye.